Stephanie and Kenny. St Stephanie and Kenny. They are in the bottom of the barn. Do you know where that's at? Yeah. Here, I'll show you. So right now we are headed into ride prep. Uh, we always usually let Scott take the lead on this just because he is the main shooter. So he'll always start this off. Um, and then I come in right behind just to make sure that they know that I'm here for the day. All smiles, all the time. Hello. Video guys. Scott? Yeah. Scott. Scott, nice Scott that's Pablo. Hi. That's our VPS and uh, for awesome. So usually upon arriving at preps, especially a bride prep, um, Scott is gonna always take the lead with the camera and he's gonna be on camera one, which is our first main shooter camera. Um, and he will be shooting everything regarding details first. Um, my job is just to grab a light so that I'm available if he needs light for whatever reason for the details, I can light everything um, and then we can Keep it simple from there usually. Upon arrival, what we do is we find a location that works uh, for us to get the bra like the, the dress and the different detail shots as well. Um, and right now this ceremony location is looking like our best spot, I think. I don't know. Can you reset to the top there? Uh, might be able to. Will it stay on that thing? It'll stay there. Okay, that's good. How's that? Yeah, that'll work. So right now while the main shooter, Scott, is filming, um, obviously you can see we're using a lot of natural light here. But what I'm doing with this little torch LED here is I'm just using this to fill in um, the space at the top of the dress. And what that allows is just for the full dress to be um, well lit so that when he's filming, it's, it's, it's easy for him to actually get the exposure correct and everything as well. With these torch LEDs, they're temperature controlled, so it's important to match the light that you are getting naturally, whether that be you're in a room, if that's unnatural, or natural light, like we have right now, daylight balance. So you can set the temperature on here, um, and you wanna make sure you're matching that so that it's not skewing anything when it comes to the picture or the profile that he's using. Um, so it's important to, to match that. I'm actually gonna be heading to groom prep now, and so usually what I grab is I always make sure I have camera number two. Um, we keep them labeled so that we know whose footage is whose, and I always bring two lenses with me. Um, I have a 70 to 200 here um, if I need to get in tight, and then I also have a 45-1.8 with me, which is for some really, really nice depth of field. Um, so I always have that with me. I make sure I have my road mic with me. Two extra batteries always, always, and what else do we have here? Oh, lens cleaner, this one. unless you want to keep in a monopod. Yeah, so we'll keep the lens cleaner in here and also a monopod which we have over there. As a second shooter, it's very important to understand how your first shooter shoots things and how the company that you're working for that's hiring you, how they film weddings. It's good to watch previous stuff that they've shot. It's also good to talk to them about frame rates and, and different styles of shooting. And you wanna make sure that you're getting the stuff that they need. Because um, as a second shooter, it's good to have some creative uh, ideas, but it's really important to get the stuff that they need as a company. And it's really, really important to understand your role as a second shooter, because you, you, you need to let the first shooter do do their job and the second shooter needs to do theirs and that's to really help uh, the first shooter accomplish what they need for the day. I want to make sure I have the name correct. Kenny, that's who we're looking for. <laughs> Before I forget. Hey, are you guys here for the wedding? We are, yeah. Which one? Uh, for uh, Stephanie and Kenny. Okay, I'm Kenny. Kenny, nice to meet you. Nice Pablo, to meet you. how you doing, man? How are you? Good, how are you? Good, doing well. You out golfing? Yeah. Nice, cool. Um, so obviously you're not ready for me right now. Fine, it's all good. Don't worry about okay. it. <laughs> um, but what we'll do is, what, what's your plan? What do you got? Like, we just got a shower and we're going to get ready. Okay. And then we're going to head up there for like the hour before. Okay. Um, do you have a room to yourself or with your guys? Uh, it's kind of, I don't know. 
We're not sure. I We're think sure? their okay. fiancés have checked in. Okay. So I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Actually, I so. will definitely let you shower. That's no problem. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm the video. One of the video guys, by okay. the way, just so you know. Um, all I need is about two or three minutes with you once okay. you've basically dressed yourself, but obviously like buttons open, cufflinks off, shoes off, that kind of stuff. Okay. And then I'll walk you through the rest of that kind of, you know, somewhat slowly. Um, and we can do that together. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Oh, here, I got your time. So, this is, it's currently 144. Okay. Give me like uh, maybe 20 minutes. That's cool. 210. Yeah. 210 would be good. 210. Okay. And what room are you in here? 223. 223. So, I'll You'll come. You'll see the, there should be like a sign. Steph made it. Okay. You'll Sweet. notice. That's all good. Awesome. Okay. Cool. I'll come on down. I'll knock and give you, what do you say, 20 minutes, 15, yeah. 20, something like that. Um, I'll come down, knock, and we'll go from there. That's okay. Fine. Sounds good. Appreciate man. it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Good to meet you. Cool. We're good. So it's always important to keep in mind, um, no matter where you are, where you're going, anybody that you come across, you want to make sure you just address, say hello, be polite, smile. Um, I think that's something that goes, you know, very overlooked just because you're just because you're a second shooter and you're busy filming and you have stuff to do. It's always key to leave a good impression on every person you come across because um, that's, in my opinion more opportunity for business um, throughout. Hey, how are we doing, man? How are you? Good. Is this Kenny? Yes. Okay, yeah. awesome. What's up? Man. <laughs> how you doing? Get how the are pictures you? going, right? Get the pictures yeah. going, right? Who wants a party? If it's cool, if you don't mind me asking real quick, what I might have you do is have these guys just move this way. Okay. Maybe get the table out of the way a little bit just because what I'm going to do is use natural light. Okay. If that's all right. Um, yeah, and then... Yeah. Not just like, literally by the beds here, like nothing too crazy, so we can just pop, throw it back there. It's fine. Perfect, man. That's cool. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you stand right over here. Okay. You can come right to the here, right to the window, facing me, facing a little bit out. So you can actually turn that way. That's perfect. And then what I'll have you do is there's normal speed. I'm gonna have you go a little bit under normal, just slightly under, okay. um, so that you can actually I can just capture everything as it's going. So go ahead, do your thing naturally as you would. So on those last two buttons, I'm actually going to come in a little closer from here, if that's all right. You can keep doing what you're doing. I'm just going to keep <laughs> going a little closer here. All right, going ahead. Very nice. I'm sorry? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh. Very nice. Doing a good job. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Sure. Cool. Um, so then, uh, yeah, okay, then we'll throw the shoes on. Oh, unless you want to throw the watch on, I guess. Yeah, I can do that. That's fine. Yeah. First, while we're up here, that's cool. So for this one, I'm actually going to have you face me a little bit more straight, if that's all right. Okay. And you can go out and throw it naturally as you would. That's fine. Cool. Thank you. Um, for this, let's see here. Is it cool if I bring that chair over here? Yeah, absolutely. All right, sweet. So let's do that. All right, so what I'm going to have you do is, yeah, you can just throw them on naturally, like you would, and then when you're finished, you can actually go ahead and get up and walk away okay. um, naturally. Yeah. Awesome, man. Very good. So, cool. anything else? I think that's it. I think that's it? Yeah. Cool. I'm good if you're good. Okay. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Good to meet you. You too. I'll be around. Obviously, okay. you know, I'm not okay. leaving or anything. Cool. Super smooth prep. Um, but it's always important to just set the, t uh, the, the room back to the way that it was before you got here. Um, 
it's minor detail, but it's it shows professionalism and just allows them to not have to be concerned about that because they have enough to worry about throughout the day already. So, so that helps a lot. Cool, cool. So, yeah, awesome prep. Really, really nice guy. Um, I got some really, really great stuff, as you saw, um, so I'm very excited about that. We're gonna head back to the bride prep just because this location's not, uh, you know, let's say the, the nicest for filming, <laughs> which is fine, um, but we're gonna head back to the bride prep just to get that uh, back with Scott, and we're gonna help him set up for the ceremony. We just pulled in right now, so we are going to just get parked, uh, and then I'll come and meet you in the bride prep room, right? He said, sounds good. <laughs> We're about to head back into the bride prep. Very important, if you've watched any of our previous um, behind the scenes, you definitely know that Scott and I like to use uh, in-ears, or not in-ears, we use uh, these earpieces with our walkies uh, from a company called Midland. Um, they keep perfect communication whenever we need it, which is great, uh, because during a wedding day, it's very important to have that. Um, a lot of the time it's, you know, when you want to try and answer text messages or a phone call, you might miss it and you're in the middle of something. Um, it's very like not efficient. So we love using these uh, earpieces with the head or the walkies. Um, and it really, really allows us to communicate well throughout the day, which I'm sure you've heard if you've watched any of our stuff before. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, I'm doing well. All right, let's see what the situation is in here. I'm gonna just go on, I think it should be fine. How are you? Good, how are you? Someone's here for you. Hey, Scott. I'll just, I'll just stay out here if you want me. You can talk to me about it, that's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, he said to come around the other side. Um, so the nice thing about today is that, or this wedding day, I should say, is that everything is actually in the same location, um, which really helps a lot just because we're not having to move from location to location to get stuff. Um, it's all in one spot, other than the group that we just came from. Everything's in the same spot, which really allows for a quick and easy day, which we really, really love. He, he does his like, suspenders and it looks nice. And so I moved around a little bit, got some different stuff, got like, his shoes. He has a very basic setup, like it's literally what he's wearing. Um, so oh, like, just, just no that, tie, like no tie fine. or anything. Yeah, it's very basic, but I got that and... You moved though? You didn't get just that? No, angle. it was yeah. other angles too, yeah. And I got closer and all that too, so it worked out well. It was good. It, it was, you know, very bland, clean, but you know, enough. I, I had a beautiful window, which was good, so. The re um, reception area is super cool. Is Our it? speeches are going to look money in that place because it's like... <laughs> all right, sweet. Because it's, it's all wood and like really high ceilings but, okay. and, but, and like... Uh, you know, string like Christmas string tights oh, up top, but yeah. okay. where they have like the the table and for where we can put right. the speeches, probably it'll probably be so like it's dark in the room, right? So Alrighty. we can probably light it pretty. Like I think it'll nice, it'll look, nice. It should this look, is it right here. Yeah, it's upstairs. Cool, cool, cool. That's awesome. We love to light our speeches. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Basically, what I'm doing while Scott's in there doing his stuff, I'm just gonna get some like. B-roll essentially uh, as much as I can. Obviously the sun is like super harsh right now, which you're probably trying to get the exposure on me even. Uh, it's okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do what I can just to get some establishing shots of the location a little bit. Uh, Scott's gonna take the drone out later around five and get some of that stuff as well. But we'll do what we can, we'll do what we can. Forget that, forget that shot for a minute. <laughs> so basically what I'm doing here is just getting exposure, making sure that's all clean looking as well. Um, again, the sun is harsh, so I'm just making, keeping that all in mind as I'm doing this here. And I'm definitely gonna wait for this bus to move before I get my shot. So what I'm gonna do is just try and get some nice simple shots here. One of the cool features about the Ronin S is you can actually hold down this button right here. Like you can actually hold it in and it places where you like, it holds the position of the camera. Um, and then you can actually, it won't move from that position. So it's kind of cool and it creates a really cool like cinematic looking shot. So I'm gonna get one of those right now real quick here. You good? Shot here. Hey, how you doing? Uh, awesome. Here. Oh, 
Oh boy. It's a warm one out here. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Let's see. I think we'll probably just take a walk, see if there's anything else that we can get and go from there. And I'm sure Scott has talked you through before, but when using the gimbal, it's just super important to re remain like um, the same height. So if like you need to, because it, it it works with the, this direction, but when it comes to up and down, it definitely sees walking. Um, so it's important to kind of keep your body the same height and just kind of work with just your legs to get the shot that you need um, so that it's not like up and down consistently the whole time. Do you want to leave all the stuff here then, or just and just get like stands first and all that? I would bring that. Everything. Stands. And just get it all set up. Okay. Yeah. Just keep me posted. I can, we're within walking distance. So yeah, I reached out established there, so all you need to do is set up all the tripods. You gotta find a spot for them. On the right hand side, you might be just like out of the bar, which is fine. Fine. Okay. As long as you're shooting in, because you can put it high enough to get over people. Right. The left side. You have to find a spot, but okay. there's a lot of people in a small area, and that's probably that's the issue. This is the ceremony location, and we're looking where we want to set up our stance. So I just need to basically scout this out to see what it looks like, and then I will set everything up. The thing about this place, though, is that it's very tight. There's a lot of people um, in a small location, so we have to see how we can do that. Um, so I just need to scout it out real quick. So that's what we're going to do right now. Yeah, so that, this works out fine. There's actually two, two gaps on each side, which actually works out great. That's heavy. <laughs> um, that we can stick two tripods in. So we're gonna do that right now real quick. I don't know if Scott's ever talked about these before, but we use um, these, the company called Benro. Um, Scott got a great deal on these tripods. Um, and the company is just incredible. They have like ball head uh, tripods, so they can really, really work well. I just love this company and they make some great stuff. Uh, so we're gonna set these up right now. So just as a quick overview, what I'm doing right now, um, while Scott, the main shooter, is with the bride, we had finished already doing groom prep. Um, and right now my job is just to get the ceremony stuff set up um, just so that uh, when he gets here, everything is partially set up. I wouldn't say it's 100% set up, but it's partially set up. Um, I've been working with Scott long enough that I know what he needs so I can get it essentially almost all the way set up, but he's gonna come in and get the last minute touches and stuff that he wants to get like He's already here. I see him. He just walked up. Um, so he'll be looking at that to see what, what he needs. Um, but this is, I think this will work just fine here. Scott, do you, do you think that they're going to be like up against that wall? Or like, I think probably pretty close. Or do you think they'll be closer to the beams here? Because if think, they, that kind of. I think they'll the, be in that. In, in that, that square or whatever? I think that, yeah, the fishing will probably be up against the back of the that back? thing, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I agree, actually, okay. Because I have it over there, and that's actually a really nice looking direction right there. So I'll probably do the other one over this area, maybe? I would do it literally off the thing here, and like this. Okay. Just so it's not in the way of anybody. So we're gonna be putting these on the tripods all while the main shooter, Scott, is still inside with the bride because the bride is still getting her hair done, and we have about 30 minutes until the ceremony starts. So it's gonna be fun. So these batteries weren't dead because GH5 batteries last a little while, um, but they're good to just always check if there's one down, uh, one notch down. We always like to switch them out pre-ceremony just to make sure that everything's good. And the reason you want to do that, obviously, so you get footage, but the biggest thing as a second shooter, you want to make sure that you're taking care of your first shooter and getting stuff done before they're even thinking about it. Because a lot of the time, if you're just a second shooter um, and you're not thinking about this stuff beforehand, your first shooter is going to have to go do these things last minute and if you can be a great second shooter for your first shooter um, by doing a lot of this stuff ahead of time so when they ask you hey did you do this did you do that could you go do this you already have uh, the ability to say oh, i already took care of that we're good to go and so that gives everybody peace of mind throughout the whole day again scott and i work together all the time so i'm already thinking about these things but you should also be thinking about these things as a second shooter for whoever you are hired by to shoot for um, so new batteries <laughs> We have a big window here uh, that is casting a big light. Yep. And because of that, um, Scott's actually checking my exposure right now. 
uh, there's casting like a dark shadow on the front of me. So whoever's actually going to be standing here, it's going to be kind of dark. Um, so that's obviously an issue because we want them to be well lit, uh, or at least the best we can. Um, so we're going to try and figure out that situation right now. He's taking a look at the, each camera to make sure we can get that done uh, to the best that we can, at least. This is the interesting thing with weddings. You don't always have control of everything, so it's, it's good to, to make yourself creative anyway. <laughs> now that we've done batteries, everything is fresh. Um, I got the stand set up and the camera set up. Um, these are our Tascam DR10Ls, um, which are our lab mics that we use for groom and for the officiant. So I, now that, I mean, most second shooters probably don't have to do or deal with audio, but um, Scott has trained me enough that I can actually deal with audio. So now I make sure that these are on and that the people are mic'd up and so that you can hear and we can record their audio for the ceremony. So I'm gonna make sure I find the right people and get people mic'd up because I have no idea where they are. <laughs> How you doing? Good, man. Is it okay if I mic you up for the, for the film? Um, this won't be amplified. This is just recorded for the film for us. That's Stephanie, really. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. That's fine. Okay. No, that's fine. I, I don't care. No, I, that's fine. Um, normally, we do it on a lapel, like of the jacket, but we don't have a jacket today. So, I'm trying to think what might be the best option. You got tape? You got tape inside? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it'll be clean here, but I'm wondering if maybe it might be best to drop it through and then maybe just keep it on the belt buckle on the back, but I don't okay. want to get, is that all right if we were to, to get it through there and then yeah, on the back? Okay, cool. That'll work fine. And then if you want to just go ahead and tuck it in as you would, that's fine. I'll be right with you, Scott, one sec. How's that feel? Does that feel okay? Yeah, feels good. Feels good? Cool. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for everything. Cool. We're good? We're good. All appreciate right. it. Thanks. Officiating? Damn. Wonderful. Can I, is it okay for yeah. us to mic you up? Yeah. Wonderful. Cool. What's your name? I'm not going to curse. Jerry. <laughs> it's okay. Pablo, nice to meet you. I'm not going to curse a lot. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. It's all right. Now I'm on tape. Are you getting mic'd up too? I'm probably... So. Yes, I'm going to probably... I think I the best thing... Though. You don't? That's okay. We can throw it in a pocket. That's fine. Um, but at least yours is untucked. So what I'll probably do is drop it and then get it in the pocket and then it'll just stick that through the top. I think that'll be the simplest thing. Okay, very good. We'll do that. You can also... You can go ahead and button that. That's fine. Make sure that this is rolling here. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. We're good. Right, let's go. <laughs> Yep. Who presents this woman today? Her family and myself. Thank you. You may kiss her. Kevin says to me right after he asked me, he says, well, you're a funny guy. And, and, I, and I said to myself, well, I'm not that funny. <clears throat> and uh, uh, I know that because my wife tells me every day, Jerry, that's not funny. <clears throat> Sometimes it's hard to believe what we've accomplished in such a short time. Dating, parenthood, home ownership, engagement, and now marriage. What I've loved most about you is that you've given me the opportunity to grow in all of those areas, especially fatherhood. Thank you for always bailing me out, literally and figuratively. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for letting me having my dream wedding. I know we can't afford this and I'm hoping you can accept a lifelong payment of foot rubs. <laughs> By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh, of course, 
good. I'll go around the bar now. How you doing, sir? I'll give this back to you. Can I get the mic from you as well? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Got the audio. We're good. So right now, the ceremony has finished. Uh, everything went well. Um, bit of an interesting one, a little bit different than usual, but it's okay. Uh, we made it work, and it was actually very short, which is nice because usually we get Catholic weddings, which are super long, which is okay, but it's nice to sometimes get that short one, knock things out quick. Um, so we finished that up. Uh, we got all the audio, we got all the camera stuff. Now we're in the reception hall here, um, and Scott's getting some establishing shots of the location here, and then I'm actually gonna head down and get some shots of the couple while they're taking photos. Um, and then I'll probably help him when he's doing lights as well. So we like to do establishing shots of the reception location before people get in here while cocktail, while cocktail hour is happening. So I have a light, he's got the gimbal with the Ronin S, the Ronin S is the gimbal, and then he's got a GH5 on there. We're gonna get some, some stuff right now. So the key with lighting is you never wanna shoot with the light. So you, in other words, you don't wanna shoot the direction of the light. Um, so if you're the second shooter holding a light for, or you're lighting something for your first shooter, you always want to remember to shoot uh, or to light things from the sides or uh, to have them shoot at the light rather than with the light. Again, if your first, sh if your first shooter does things differently, you wanna respect that and do that, but uh, this is a great technique for lighting. So one thing that we do um, as a company is we film things, especially, well, we film establishers in 60 frames. Uh, 4K 60, baby. 4K 60, because it's GH5. <laughs> Always promoting. Link, link in link, description. Link in the description. <laughs> No, uh, but we do shoot things in 60 frames uh, as far as establishers go, just because that gives us flexibility in post to be able to slow things down. Um, doesn't mean you have to do it that way. Some people shoot in 24 frames everything, but we like to shoot establishers 60 frames. Um, and even if we're not together, because I'm the second shooter, I still know that that's what Scott wants. Um, and that's what we usually do as a company. Um, so just keep that in mind whenever you're hired by another company to film, you wanna ask them what they prefer uh, as far as frame rates go so that you're shooting everything according to the way they like stuff filmed. So right now we have the photographer taking care of things over there. Um, this is at the point in the day when we let them run the show. Um, but we like to get some stuff in 60 frames of a little like, interaction uh, of them, you know, getting in and out of photos and then taking photos together, that kind of a thing. Because um, what it really does is allows for some nice kind of like B-roll footage later in the footage or in the film. Uh, that will really help. Always in 60 frames as well. So we can slow it down and have that ability to do that. So that's a nice shot right there that you'll see like their reaction of how they were and, and that's like nice stuff for the film. So that, that's, that's nice. Sometimes I'll get like through bridesmaids, that kind of stuff. Now, as far as planning, you guys are basically going to be just doing some photos along here. Okay, is there anything else that you think you're, you're thinking about? Or? Um, honestly, this is, yeah, okay. probably we'll do one more of just the guys, one more of just the girls. Let's go. I'd really like to do in the field, but I don't know if they're going to be up for it. Okay, ooh, that would be cool. We also, no, you're good. I'm like, that feels really No, 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 you're good. Oh, so no, no. Um, oh, question though, do you mind, like, what do you think about taking them out later on? You're thinking about that? Um, are you cool with the that? full bridal party, just bride No, 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 party. just bride and group. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I think then we could also do some stuff down here, but I think maybe the field then would be cool. The yeah, field, um, the sun sets like right over there, so okay. the back corner is gorgeous. Ooh, like, okay. Shot yeah. Here a lot with like. You have okay. Thing. This is our first time here. Okay, yeah, wonderful. It's, um, really nice to come back. Awesome, after cool. Because we all, we also usually at that point we'll take the drone out and stuff yeah. and do some stuff as well. Yeah, so that'd so be great. Fun. Cool. That'd be oh. great. So this right here, I actually love this kind of a shot. We're gonna basically just have everybody at the bottom of the frame and people are moving around and doing their thing, just talking and but I kinda actually love that kind of a shot. So 
Um, especially when they're doing this kind of a thing. I might punch in even a little bit, just get some of this kind of shot. Make sure things are in focus. Make sure my exposure is good for skin tone. Yeah, that's about good right there. Punch in a little bit more. At this point right now, um, we're letting the photographers run the show a little bit and we're letting them kind of just take over like for this part. Um, and then I'm just kind of sneaking in, getting where I can get in, punch in nice and close with this. I can teleconvert in and in post with 4K, you can punch in at 200% without losing quality, which is super sweet. So um, I'm just letting them run the show right now, getting what I can of them walking, kissing, you know, holding hands, whatever that looks like. Um, and then later on, we're gonna take them out uh, and get some really cool stuff out there in the field, I think, which will be really cool. So, something that as a second shooter I like to do, like I said before, is I like to set up my first shooter for success in every way that I can. So, already my first shooter already did it. Uh, he basically set up these uh, power banks that we have with batteries, and if he hasn't gotten to this by the time we get to the reception, I'd like to do it myself, just so that he's already uh, in a place where he doesn't have to think about too much stuff. So, he already did it, but i just like to say that if I can get to it before him, I would love to do that, because the second shooter should really be aiding the first shooter in everything that you can do, I guess. You, know, you can only do what you can do, but you do it with the best that you can do and everything. So, this is something that he already got to, which is great. Um, so, we love having our power banks and our uh, batteries charging while we're doing stuff during the reception. So sometimes, as the second shooter, you uh, have to be the subject. <laughs> uh, and so I'm basically just standing where there we have lights, and if you've watched any of our BTSs before, we always light our speeches. So we have a light that is gonna light the subject, which in this case, right this second, is me. And then we also have a hair light behind me, uh, which is also intentionally lighting the couple as well. Uh, so we can get some great reaction shots, and we get a great hair light shot. And like we've talked about before, the light's coming this way, the light's coming this way, and he's shooting from the side. And he's getting a great background over there, which is gonna be full of people and the lights and the big barns looking, everything, it's gonna look really good. So we're just checking light right now just to make sure that we're set so that when it comes down to it, we're ready to go and we're not fumbling with our settings or anything like that, as best as we can. For entrances, I'll be tight, you'll be wide. For first dances, I'll be tight, you'll be wide. We'll switch. So for speeches, you're tight. Then I'll go to uh, reactions. Yep. And then we're then we're good. Yep. Okay. Cool. Let me get a 50 out then for that. So Scott was just running out to get something in the car, and while he's out there, uh, I'm just going to basically popping off a couple quick shots of some of the stuff that's here when you initially walk into the room. Um, and the nice thing about this kind of stuff, my favorite is like. I'm huge on like aesthetic and like uh, when stuff is like um, using lines and so obviously when you're in places like this you can see the lines and just making sure everything is nicely lined up so that it's just a nice beautiful like shot. Um, I love doing this kind of stuff, b-roll, uh, random shots of things like establishing shots and all that so I love doing that kind of stuff. I'll get some in a little bit. And I actually love that those people just walked through there because that gave a little bit of motion. Um, and even if they're shadows, they're gonna cast some shadows while they're outside there a little bit. That's also nice when you have a stagnant shot. So you can kind of use that um, as your motion essentially while you're staying stagnant. I love doing that kind of stuff. So this is a nice stagnant shot while people are walking in actually casting a shadow on the cards here. Not a crazy shot, but just something. 
really what, what it comes down to, I've noticed, because now that I'm editing more films, um, it's nice to have more than less. So I think it's really important as a second shooter even. Um, your first shooter is usually concerned about obviously everything, but they're concerned about getting like the, the safe shots. And as a second shooter, you should be concerned about that too. But sometimes it's nice to also just pop off some shots when you have some downtime just to get as much stuff as you can of uh, surrounding areas, establishing the, the area that you're in, and just getting what you can, like random stuff, because that actually will help uh, give your editor, whoever's doing the editing, more options to, for the film to, to jump to different shots and really allow people to kind of enter into the place that the event was taking place at, essentially. So this looks a little crazy right now, but it's kind of a cool establishing shot of people coming in a little bit. Gonna wait for somebody to walk in real quick here. Or walk out, that's fine too. Here we go, here we go. That's what I was thinking, yeah. And then your main shot is once they get here, they'll be fully right. right. All the info with them. Okay. Okay. And then you can edit. Okay, that's fine. All right, very good. So we'll do that. A little overview too, just because the next three things that are about to happen are going to be back to back to back. So uh, first, what we do is we get entrances and first dances. And my job as the second shooter is to get tight of both those things while he's getting wide on the gimbal. And then for the speeches, we end up switching. And then he goes to tight. Uh, and gets a really nice, tight, well-lit shot of the person giving the speech, and I go wide. Uh, sorry if I hit my, my mic. Um, and then I go wide, and I get a ton of reaction shots of like the couple laughing, crying, parents laughing, crying, and the people all over the place just getting different shots. So um, that is basically what we're gonna do in this next, it happens so fast, it goes bang, 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 uh, and then we have dinner, so that's exciting. <laughs> First up, we got Nelson and Lucretia, Jess. Okay, one second, yep, no problem. You're good. Right, after you, sir. Thank you. Then we got Nicole, escorted by Danny and Aaron. Woo! Katie, escorted by Robbie. Christina, escorted by Joey. Go on. Heck yeah! Woo! Turn down for what? All right, so we just finished up with dinner. Um, we're headed out into the field now. We have the couple just ahead of us right here um, with the photographers. Unfortunately, we don't really have much of a sunset tonight, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna get what we can. So we're going to do some stuff out here. I have a 70 to 200 on me right now, uh, so I can punch in, get some nice stuff close up, while Scott is gonna be getting the Inspire 2 out to fly the drone. Uh, we're gonna get some sweet, sweet stuff. So I'm really excited about it. We always wanna keep in mind, we're just 60 frames right here. Looks nice, the light looks great, it looks awesome. Perfect. So yep, go ahead and walk a couple steps in. Oh god, hold on. <laughs> That's perfect right there. Leaning for a little kiss. Awesome. You definitely need to keep around. Do you guys 
guys need? Um, we'll do whatever. I just know that that sun in about like five minutes with yeah. that field right there or that somewhere over there would be cool. I don't want to make you guys walk though, I understand. So I, I, it's up to you. We can get a little closer if you guys need to, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm gonna catch up, kinda. I'll probably have them walk back just to the bus and then, yeah. but we'll get shots of them walking, you yeah. know what I mean? Cool, thank you. No, we're good. I think we're gonna have you guys walk back like normal, but like we'll get you as, as you're walking. But once you guys get to the bus, it's you guys can go, you're good to go. They're just gonna walk back and we're gonna get them walking back. So you can, you can sneak in behind them if you want with the drone. They know that they're gonna be kind of filmed. Dude, there's gotta be a tick on me somewhere. <laughs> so basically what we got going on is we got the DJ right here. He's letting them know, uh, all the people that are giving the speeches to come here in the middle. Uh, Scott has already communicated, this, communicated that with all of them and including the DJ. So they're gonna be right here in the middle. We have a light for the main light for them and we also have a hair light for them as we've spoken about before. The hair light also lights the, uh, the couple as well. So that's worked out really good. Scott's going to be the main guy, the main shooter, getting the shot of them, and I'm going to be uh, coming around with a 50, 1.2, getting just a bunch of different shots of reactions and that kind of stuff. I also want to make sure that I have audio checked as well. Well, hello everyone. I'm John Corbin. I've known Kenneth since preschool. Um, in the last 26 years, I've accrued a lot of different material for this very special day. Um, and he believed the first step of that was to play the part and that the results would follow. So the third grader, that was about four foot nothing, 120 pounds, and the higher education that he's still pursuing to this day. Um, the seventh or eighth best basketball player to come off the bench our senior year. <laughs> years to come, and I'd like to close with a quote in the wise words of Tupac. <laughs> I'm just adding myself in there with you. Hey, you're stuck with me, bro. Now I can literally, bro, hey, it's my bro. And the dream is just a vessel that must follow where it goes. Try to conquer them. These waters are my sky. I'll never reach my destination. Yes, I will sail my vessel to the river of the sky.